Hello, we're going to make a video and this video will demonstrate how to install X2Go client software on a Windows 10 installation. Okay, so here we have a um, Windows 10 installation and the first thing we want to do is open our uh, favorite browser. Okay. And after opening the favorite browser, um, I always like to go to www.google.com and then I'm going to type in X2Go. And this uh, first thing here that pops up, uh, wiki.x2go.org, that's where we want to go to get the download. So we'll click on there. And in the middle of the page, you'll see it says uh, installing X2Go. Uh, client server software. There's an installation for uh, Windows and there's some installations for OS 10. I'm going to demonstrate the Windows uh, installation. If you have OS 10 you can download uh, the X2Go software from uh, either of these locations. <coughs> Excuse me. Now if you're using a if you I'm sorry if you're using a Mac you can download it from one of these uh, locations with OS 10. Uh, if you're using a Mac, um, you will want to uh, be sure. <coughs> excuse me. You'll want to be sure that you're running Xcorts, uh, and I have a video on installing Xcorts that you'll want to consult with, perhaps. Uh, Xcorts is a graphical uh, or is an uh, X client uh, for the Mac. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the Windows installer. I'm going to go ahead and save that file. I'll click save. And let me just verify where that went. Okay, so I saved that on my desktop. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the uh, browser in the background. I'm going to come over here and click on my X2Go installation software. And there's saying, do I really want to install that? Yep, I do. It's, uh, I'm going to select the English language. Uh, I'm going to accept the license. It's, I'm going to accept the default uh, installation, I'm sorry, the default start menu uh, items. I'm going to accept the default installation location. And I'm going to accept the uh, default start menu uh, label. And X2Go will go ahead and install. And you see the little X2Go icon popped up here on the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Uh, just as a point of interest, uh, if I click on the little start flag here, uh, you will also see the X2Go software, uh, not surprisingly, in your start menu. And if I click on that little X2Go thing, it'll show me the uh, various X2Go uh, packages that come with the uh, total package. Uh, and we would just click on the X2Go client there or we can click on the desktop icon to start it. Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, the purposes of this video was to show you how to install the software and that's all. Uh, I'll have another video that will show you how to connect to uh, whatever machine for whichever class you're going to be using. Okay, so thank you for listening and I hope this was helpful.